Hey guys, what's up? This is Yashia and I'm back with another video on Wix and this is the part two of creating your portfolio website with Wix. So if you haven't seen the first part, check out the links in the description. I'll be adding links to the first part. And if you haven't signed up to Wix, sign up already guys, come on. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit the design of your pages. So in the previous video, just to remind you we went through the pages by using this navigator right here and let's go through the top tab bar first and what each option is so the publish option basically publishes your site and makes it live online the preview option gives you a preview of how the website is going to be once it is published so this this is when you're almost finalizing and yeah so let's have a look this is the preview option guys and you can see it navigates to all the pages properly and it, it's added all the links on its own so anyways let's get back to editing the site now and the upgrade option obviously is there to upgrade here is the notifications tab any notifications you get should appear here Here's a help option, you know, if you need any help, contact the support. So this is the site options, which gives you the dashboard, the settings, site history. And this option particularly get found on Google is for search engine optimization. And this will be covered in the later few videos. And this is to go back to your profile sites or create a new site. And the most important thing in today's websites are mobile responsiveness. So you can see here, Wix websites are already optimized for mobiles too. You can toggle the view by just changing this. And you can see it's so beautiful that it automatically adapts to the mobile site. And right now the default selected uh, section of the page is the header section, as you can see it over here. And you can see section design and here it gives you an option to toggle this menu too to see how it's gonna look and fantastic do check and do notice the animation at this icon and notice the details they have added to the website and once you click on section design here they give you a bunch of options so this one has the title in the center this one is the same and here you can see the title goes to the left so these these designs are really good and they focus a lot really on the details and i'm going to leave it to the default one because i really love this one so let's get back and you can choose each section and edit them so the title and the subtitle of course are not uh, editable here but you can change the visibility for different views so for instance in the mobile view i'm just going to disable professional photographer the subtitle and let's go back to the desktop view and you can see it's still visible so you can show and hide content according to the device that's being shown thus ensuring maximum responsiveness so this video is focused more on getting you hands-on with the design so let's see um, manage and so in this section, I want to edit the ordering of the gallery. So you can see I can drag and drop stuff anywhere and it's going to automatically edit. And here's an option to add media. So once I click add media, you can get three options, image, videos, and text. So for a video, you can either add a video from Vimeo, YouTube, or upload your own video. And once you click on an image, so it takes you to a choose images um or let's say a setting bar or a choose image section now what i find most interesting about this is that it gives you options to explore images from wix media from wix <coughs> they have their own default images set it's a very great and huge collection of images you can even take images from Shutter, Shutterstock and Unsplash. So 
it really gives you a great variety of images to import from and these site files are basically the files you have uploaded now once you click on upload media whoa what is this you can drag and drop files from your computer that is all right but have a look in the left you can add images from your wix account so if you have used any images from other sites you can connect google drive facebook instagram dropbox google photos and it just keeps going oh my god you can add custom links so they give you literally too much of flexibility i would say and too many options so wix is just really very good for this thing so let's choose an image from media from wix i don't know maybe this one and give add to page so i want this to appear as the second image and i'm done so as you can see wix is changing the order of my images and now you can see the added image shows up here now these are the various packages for the services that this photographer offers also notice the chat box here and we can change its design too so once you hover over any element you can see there's three or four buttons coming up settings which shows the settings of the particular um, element so the chat title is let's chat so i'd rather have let's connect and you can see it instantaneously changes anything that i type here so whatever i change here gets reflected here instantaneously isn't that amazing let's catch up on that project of yours so you can even change the image and wow pix just gives you a plethora of options and the manage booking sections we'll get back to this in another video where you know you can add pricing change plans add timings and everything there's a vast variety of options so i guess we're going to make another video for that one and coming to design so once you come to design you can see different options colors fonts and animations and page designs just click themes so once you must remember from the first video that some of these themes appeared in the six of them i'm not going to change the theme right now because i like this one so once you go to colors you can see it is generating different recommended palettes so you can just click on a color palette and it just applies it to the whole site how cool is that and that's about color when you go to fonts you can change the fonts you can change the size what of the fonts you need so let's say i am going to choose indie yeah and i like this better so you you see guys it's not at all intimidating to use wix especially because everything is drag and drop and let's say i select this section and i choose animation so what this does is allows you to add animations to your page so this is the animation for the site so it's a landing animation and it determines how i want a vertical animation so let's see what it shows us wow i'm going to go with turn yeah that's what i like so these are landing animations and pretty much everything over here is just drag and drop or hover over the elements click on manage or design and then you can change each and everything you know it's a very intuitive editor so let's change it to this layout i just tapped on this one and now you can see it's changing the layout how cool is that so yeah th that's how easily you can change it so so i guess that's it guys do check out the links in the description for part 3
we will show you how you can manage bookings and various other options and do like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you'd like to learn more thank you for watching the video